Hi friends, a child was brought to neuro OPD. Parents complained about uncontrollable laughing and precocious puberty. MRI was done to reach a diagnosis. What is the probable diagnosis? Option A. Penile germinoma. Option B. Hypothalamic hematoma. Option C. Craniopharyngioma. Option D. Pituitary adenoma. The catch in this question is inappropriate laugh and precocious puberty that will lead to the diagnosis of hypothalamic hematoma. Hypothalamic hematoma is a rare benign tumor. Clinical features includes gelastic seizure. Gelastic seizure includes inappropriate laughing and giggling. Other features include developmental delay and precocious puberty. Diagnosis is by doing MRI scan. Let's have a look into other options. Craniopharyngioma. Craniopharyngioma is a brain tumor developed from the pituitary embryonic tissue, that's the Rathke's pouch. Classical clinical feature in this brain tumor is bitemporal inferior quadrantopia. Why? Because this tumor compresses over the optic chiasma. The other option, pituitary germinoma, it is the most common intracranial germinomas or it is the most common extra godandal seminomas. Usually, pituitary germinomas are presented with hydrocephalus. Another option was pituitary adenoma. It is the most common tumor in the pituitary. Pituitary adenoma is presented in syndrome called MEN1 syndrome. Clinical features of pituitary adenoma depends upon the type of the cell that is involved. Lactotropes and somatotropes are the acidophilic cells. If lactotrope is involved, there will be increased prolactin. If somatotrope is involved, there will be increased growth hormone. Thyrotroph, corticotroph and gonadotrophs are basophils. And if the thyrotroph is involved, there will be increase in the thyroid hormones. Corticotroph is involved that lead to Cushing syndrome. Gonadotroph is involved that lead to increased sex hormones, which eventually leads to precocious puberty. Let's have some more points. MEN1 includes pituitary adenoma, parathyroid hyperplasia, and pancreatic tumors, whereas MEN2A include parathyroid hyperplasia, medullary carcinoma thyroid, and pheochromocytoma, whereas MEN2B includes medullary carcinoma thyroid, pheochromocytoma, mucosal neuromas, and morphinoid features. Now guys, please tell me what will be the answer for this question. Yeah, that's right.